What is going on guys, this is A Hammer Gaming and welcome to the second episode of Going for Gold. If you do not know what this series is, then it's essentially just me going into the Gold Cup and trying to win it. The team I was going with was my Brazilian skill side with Jefferson in goal, Danilo at right back, Philippe Santana dead at centre backs and Ivaldo at left back. Elton and Lincoln are holding midfield, Carlos Alberto at Cam, Rafael Sorbis at centre forward, Jadson at Cam, and Weliton up front. All of those midfielders are five star skill. Now, if you saw my first episode, then you would have seen that I failed in my going for gold first attempt. I got to the semi final and lost. And look at this first team I come up against. It's one of the best teams I've seen in FIFA 13. There's a Ronaldo. Team of the season Van Persie, Team of the season Dante, Thiago Silva, Robin, David Silva, Inform Sirigu. It's an absolutely incredible side here. Much better than my one. But even besides this team, I actually start off very well in this game with after a bit of the ball bouncing around in midfield, the ball ends up coming out to the wing to Rafael Solbis. He gets tackled, but the ball comes into the box and there is Welliton to head it in early in the game. And that gives RM Galaxy a 1-0 lead. And before this was even happening, this guy was, he was just dicking around with the ball. He was passing it around his back, passing it to his keeper. As you see, he makes, makes a substitution there, instantly bringing on Neymar for... David Silva and that is actually how the second goal came apparent as after again he was just passing around just I don't know why I was doing it he was doing this before the goal even went in but Rafael Sobi stole it from his keeper he puts it in the back of the net that made it 2-0 and honestly at this point I thought that he might rage quit because he wasn't playing properly he, he didn't seem to care he was doing things like that and it was becoming very simple for me at this stage. So I moved later on into the game and this is when he actually starts to play properly and he gets a chance here with the ball breaks to Van Persie but Jefferson makes a very good save and nothing ends up coming from the corner. But almost straight from that attack we go up the other end. The ball comes to Wellington. He does a pirouette instead of hitting the volley smoothly but it ends up rebounding out to Elton after the save and that was 3-0 and then from there I found that or I thought it was going to be very comfortable from 3-0 you shouldn't really lose a scoreline from there and the game got even better later on as the ball comes out to Wellington I remember trying to scooch it there it didn't go to plan he ended up crossing into Rafael Solbis but the end result I'm more than happy with uh, Solbis gets his boot cleaned even though he headed it in and that was 4-0. And then before our time, that was definitely game over. And that is how we went into halftime as the whistle went. And RM Galaxy at halftime against one of the best teams I've ever seen on FIFA was 4-0 up. And even though for the first 10, 15 minutes of game time, he was just passing the ball around his back four. After that, he started to play properly. And it was a deserved lead at halftime. So we go into the second half. We have a shot from Rafael Solbis, which is well saved by Sirigu. The ball comes in and he half clears it. The ball's knocking around in the box and somehow his defence doesn't deal with it. And Dede slides in. He puts the ball in and that's 5-0. And he was taking at least 10 seconds to get the kickoff started. And it's one of those times where you know they're contemplating whether to quit or not. And I thought he would, but he ended up not. And he actually ended up getting the goal. Ronaldo doing some work on the wing. And you know, as soon as he cuts inside with his stats, he's always going to score. And so he puts it in the back of the net. He makes it 5-1. And this is when I realised that he's actually playing with a guest. And I don't think he actually started using it, playing with a guest. It seemed like after that first goal, he then added another controller and him and his mate started playing because... It was very, very easy up until about when he scored his first goal. And you see Van Persie gets the second goal there. And, and then he must have just asked his mate to want to play. And the game completely changed there as I couldn't get hold of the ball anymore. And he was dominating the game. He was having chance after chance. I just couldn't deal with it because 
you know if you ever played against the guests and you know they just hound you down it's very hard to get any space against them as you see there makes it 5-3 and at this point I'm getting a little worried I mean from 5 new up it should have been plain sailing but then he really got back into the game and really making it uncomfortable to me very late on but late on in the game Wellington ends up getting through Dante just completely takes him out it was at the point in the game where the game was wrapped up it was the 87th minute and even though the scoreline was close the game was essentially over because of how much time there was left as Dante there gets himself sent off for the blatant foul on Wellington and that sent Jefferson up to the plate and usually I go down the middle but people usually expect that with goalkeepers so I end up putting it into the top right I tell him to shush after the celebrations he was doing to me I let him know who the who the better player is as Jefferson puts it into the top corner and that was 6-3 and that was definitely game over you get a replay there of Jefferson putting it in and that is in fact how the game ended as you see there the full time whistle goes Iron Galaxy come out winners 6-3 uh, what was a completely deserved victory against easily one of the best teams I've ever seen as so we'll have a look at the match stats here as you have a look who scored the goals that was Jefferson's first goal for the club have a look at the match details and comfortable winners the shots barring a few from stupid range they were all in and around the area and so we go into the second round so as i said this guy for gold series will be out more or less two two times two or three times a week and if you want it more then just let me know and so after that game we go into the second game we don't change teams the first time in my Gaius Gold series I used my BPL sweat side and this time I wanted to use my skill side and we come up against this player here who's using a cheap Premier League side called Kone with the standout players being Kone, Tarat, Fellaini and Lampard and coming into this game I saw that team and I was really thought this would be an easy game and we almost sliced off brilliantly with So Beast doing some work having a shot but the keeper saved very well Shea Given but not long after that Elton was doing some skills had a shot ends up coming out to Rafael Solbis he puts it into the bottom corner and that made it 1-0 and after seeing his team and how in the first 10 minutes of the game I was absolutely dominating I thought this again could be a very comfortable victory just ease, ease the game and dominate score a few goals and hopefully score a few skill goals but that unfortunately was not the case as my opponent goes up the other end and Lampard on his left foot puts it into the bottom corner and I don't remember seeing now but I remember playing this game and thinking just all of these players must have had attribute cards on them because I've heard it before that the non-rare players in Ultimate Team actually outplay their stats and in this game it was just one of those where every shot he took either found the back of the net like that one from Aruna Kone on his weak foot from 25 yards out or they seemed to cause Jefferson a lot of problems or it was just one of those times where you thought that FIFA and the stats were just outplaying themselves and it was very frustrating because even though he was a very good player it's just seemed like I was getting quite unlucky with the bounces as you see there Jefferson makes a great save off the post and it comes out and Tarrat ends up headering it in it was one of those situations where the striker always gets ahead of the defender it's just undefendable there's nothing you can do about it and it's just extremely frustrating to play play against and just extremely frustrating to watch again and it got even worse for me as Tarrat with the nice dummy and on his five star week for you know he wasn't going to miss from there with how overpowered the near post is he puts it in and from going one nil up and dominating the first 10 minutes my opponent then really just absolutely schooled me really at FIFA he he was absolutely dominant I can't pretend that I was in this first half he was the better player and that is how the first half ended after starting so quickly we go in 4-1 down and really I could have no complaints we'll have a look at the match stats there I only had the three shots to his 10 and it was a well deserved lead so we start the second half and I thought right if I get an early goal then that's only two goals in it 
and maybe I can get back into this game, but unfortunately the complete opposite to that happens as he tackles me straight from kickoff, gives it to Edrington on the wing with his outside of the left foot. He puts it into the top corner and at 5-1, I've said this before when I've been up by four goals, that really should be game over. There's even at, at three goals, you think you can get back into it, but four goals is just just morally deflating moment. But we try and get back into the game. We I ended up going attacking at this point and Lincoln got through one-on-one -on -one and he puts it wide. That was absolutely devastating. It was just one of those matches where nothing was going for me. And then you see from the goal kick here, we end up getting another chance. Wellington gets taken out on the edge of the box and that gives us a free kick. And we have a lot of free kick takers in this side. It definitely wasn't Jefferson taking it. I believe I gave it to Carlos Alberto. No, I gave it to Jadson, who's free kicks that. So I think 86. And he has the free kick and it comes off the inside of the post and goes out for a goal kick. That's just some absolutely horrible luck there. And it was just one of those games where that was just unsurprising. But luckily for me, my opponent makes a mistake here. He passed it out to Carlos Alberto who I'm not sure what I was doing here. I was running circles around absolutely no one. But Alberto ends up winning the ball back and he puts it into the bottom corner. And at this point, I kind of gave myself a little bit of hope, thinking, right, I'm ultra-attacking. I have to go for this. It's 5-2. But unfortunately, those hopes were squandered very quickly. It's a Runa Kone somehow wins the header, somehow just blitzes past for Leap Santana. And you know, as soon as he gets in that position, it's going to be the near post, the overpowered. And that goes into the back of the net. And once again, it's a four goal swing. And it's just disappointing knowing that I, it's a game where I could have very easily won. As you see, there's another chance there, which you 99 times out of 100, it has to go in the back of the net. Unfortunately, this was the other time where the keeper saves it. And from the corner, nothing came from it. We do end up pulling up another goal back with Wellison gets past the defender. He puts it in the bottom corner. But at this stage in the game, it really was consolation more than anything. But even so, there was more time for my opponent to go up the other end and score another as the ball comes through to Kone. He walks it around Jefferson as if he wasn't even there, puts it into the back of the net. That is 7-3. That is the worst loss I've suffered in FIFA since I can remember. It was humiliating as that is how the game ended as he, the 19th minute goal was the last bit of action and my opponent runs out seven free winners very disappointing and that means we foul another going for gold which is extremely frustrating as you see Arm Galaxy are eliminated there we'll have a look at the match stats as you see he dominates most of the stats but a lot of his shots were from stupid range and I don't really feel seven free reflected the gameplay but this is coming to the end of the episode. So if you have enjoyed this, then please leave a like. Subscribe if you enjoy the content. There will be much more. I believe I'll have another going for gold out sometime in the next week. And I'll see you next time. Bye.